All right, Aaron Sagraves, Director of Athletics at Cornerstone here with Sterling DeGainer of the women's basketball team. Sterling, how have you been? Good. I'm um, just hanging out with the family, you know, doing schoolwork. Doing schoolwork. How's, how's the school part of it going? Because that's something that in the athletic world, like our world is kind of shut down right now, but the school world, that's still happening. How's that been going? Yeah. Um, definitely a big transition. Um, all of my science courses that I'm taking, um, organic chemistry, uh, microbiology, all the lab stuff has been kind of interesting because the professors have to record themselves doing the lab and then we have to like analyze what they're doing, write it all down, you know, kind of figure out what they're doing, which is definitely weird not doing it ourselves. I bet, I bet. Well, let's get into a little bit of who you are. Um, tell us where you're from, tell us what year you are, what you're majoring in, and then what brought you to Cornerstone? Okay, um, I'm a junior I'm from Linden, Michigan, which is on the east side of the state. Um, I came to Cornerstone because I knew I wanted to go to a small college. I didn't want to go to like a big university and I wanted to play basketball. Um, so I came in with a JV scholarship. Um, and then I worked my way up, got to play varsity. Um, and I also play a little bit of softball too. So it's yeah. great that I get to go to a small college and do both the sports that I love. So definitely for sure. Um, what was, did you always grow up playing basketball and softball? Was there other sports that you played? Like what, what things brought you along as a kid to get to the point where you're at now? Um, yeah, I always played basketball and softball. Um, I pretty much did every sport when I was little. I did karate when I was really little, um, mm -hmm. dance, gymnastics, golf, not a good golfer at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> but basketball was definitely what I loved the most. Um, connected to my dad. He was always coaching me, that kind of thing. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Uh, you mentioned your dad. It, it could be him, but who's been a role model for you uh, in your life? Um, both my parents have been big role models for me. Um, my mom's probably the strongest person I know. Um, just dealing with three kids, two boys and me. Um, she's had to do a lot. Um, my dad always coaching me through sports, pushing me to be better. Um, he's one to definitely um, – when you do something wrong in sports specifically, you're running, you're doing push-ups. like he makes you work hard. It's good. Everybody needs those kind of people in their life. Mm -hmm. All right. So talking about your sport, you can either go softball or you can go basketball, but who is your favorite player to watch? Um, basketball, Xavier Simpson, Michigan oh. basketball. Okay. He's just, I think he's just such a good playmaker. He makes his teammates better. Um, he's someone who I strive to be like on the court. You working on that hook shot? <laughs> no. no not, <laughs> not in my tool belt. Uh -uh. No. Uh, who is your favorite team? You can go Xavier's team or you can go NBA. You can go whatever you want. I'm, yeah, I got to stick with Michigan basketball. Uh, you know you know what's in the background here. That's yeah. <laughs> not a whole lot of Michigan going on. Yeah, it's terrible. All right. <laughs> who, who is the greatest of all time in basketball? Michael Jordan. All right. All right. I, won't, I, I could argue, but I won't. Okay. Um, all right. Now we'll go into some rapid fire here. I'd like to start off with you are stuck on an island with one of your teammates for the rest of your life. Who is that person? Ellen Kresge. Oh, that would be fun. That would be yep. fun. Um, what is one quote that Coach either Yonkers or Farrell say that you just can't get out of your head? Oh. Uh. Yonkers, it's got to be, all right, here we go. And she, like, claps, especially in the morning. 6 a.m., she is just fired up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I, I can hear her saying that, actually. Um, all right, who's your favorite teacher that you ever had? Uh, Professor Freiling. Okay, is it soda or is it pop? Pop. Favorite cereal of choice? Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, favorite kind of cookie? Chocolate chip. If you could only shop at one store for the rest of your life for all your clothes, what would it be? Meyer. <laughs> Meyer, okay. They have oh. everything. They have all everything. All right. Uh, favorite cartoon growing up? Favorite cartoon? I didn't watch cartoons. No cartoons. Not a Saturday morning cartoon person. No. All right. Uh, what is your favorite season of the year? Spring. Why? Um, 
everything like coming from winter is just all new and like fresh. I don't know. It's good. Uh, favorite trip you've ever been on? Um, the Colorado, not Colorado, California trip my team took. Oh, okay. Santa Barbara, right? Yeah. All right. And then favorite movie? Favorite movie. Talladega Nights. Mm, okay. Will Ferrell. <laughs> Uh, if you only had one meal to make, what would you make? Eggs. Eggs. What? Uh, which way? <laughs> Fried. Fried. And then they would be eggs. Wheat toast. Wheat toast. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Last question, a little more serious. Um, we're all in this thing together. We're all in different parts of the, of the state, different parts of the country. You're missing your teammates, obviously. Uh, missing your fellow classmates. What's a message that you can send to them? Just an encouraging message that you can send to them. Um, for, I would say something that's like helped me a ton just getting through this is you're not alone. Everybody's doing it. Um, but most importantly, this is a time to be like, just really connect with your faith, um, dive into prayer, dive into the word, um, build that relationship with Jesus the way that it should. Um, just stay grounded in that. Um, and you're going to be okay. Awesome. Good stuff. Thanks for joining us today, Sterling, and uh, we hope to see you back on campus soon. Absolutely.